Roz. How are you? Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. And hump day's over, finally. <laughs> I'm finally home. I got off work, came home, got Garrett, took him to the church. He's going on an outing tonight with the youth group. We don't have church tonight. So, then I went to Walmart. Twice. <laughs> I did. I went into the store twice. Y'all, it's one thing to get all the way out to your car with your groceries and realize you forgot something and have to go all the way back in the store. I did that. It's another thing to do it when it's 90-something degrees outside. It was so hot. <clears throat> but I had to go back in. I forgot my potatoes. I'm making potato salad tonight for us to have tomorrow night. So I, there was there was no choice. I had to go back in and get them. But it's okay because I grabbed some bananas while I was in there too. <laughs> Made it worth my while. But y'all, it has been a gorgeous day today. Despite the heat, despite how hot it was, it was so gorgeous today. I went out at lunch to get me something to eat, and y'all, the sky was so beautiful. It was so, so pretty. Um, vibrant blue with big white puffy clouds. That's my favorite kind of sky. It's my favorite. I love a good sunset, and I love a good sunrise, but to me, you just cannot beat that vibrant blue color with the big white puffy clouds. So yeah, I took a picture of it. I will try to post it at the end of this video. I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I've, I'm still trying to clear storage space on my phone. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use my editing software. I may just have to post this video as it is. So I may not be able to attach the picture, but I'll try. I may just try to put it right here in the middle of the video and show y'all, at least so y'all can see. Um, so I may do both. Who knows? Who knows? But really the sky was about as blue as my nails today. Mm -hmm. And it's nail week. I've got to get my nails done. This one's the paint's chipping off really bad. So I've got to go get that done this week. But anyway, I went to Walmart because I needed a few things. We are having ham and cheese sliders tomorrow night. I saw a couple of people on YouTube making them in the past week and it made me really want some and Eric's been wanting some too so I said I would fix some. So I had to go to the store and get some things and we're going to have potato salad with them. So that's what I had to go to the store and get. So let's do a Walmart haul. So here's my Walmart haul. Not a huge one but you know Still a good one. So let me show you what I got. Um, I needed some deodorant, so I used the Secret Clear Gel. I don't think it's going to focus. I'm not sure why. No, it's not going to focus. But this is the Tropical Hibiscus Scent. And I also got the Relaxing Lavender. I don't know why that's not focusing. And... The nurturing, nurturing, yeah, nurturing coconut. So, secret clear gel. That's what I use. So, y'all, this is in no order. Let's go from this side. There's my potatoes. I just got some russet potatoes for my potato salad. There's my bananas. I got some boiled eggs. Y'all, I love buying these things. They are a little more expensive to buy. Um, depending on how many you eat, but they're peeled and they're boiled and they're ready to eat. And that's what I like about them. I keep them in the fridge whenever I want a boiled egg or if I want to make some egg salad or like tonight, I'm going to use these to make my potato salad. Y'all, it's just so much more convenient than having to boil eggs and then peel them and go through that process and I'm just all about convenience, you know what I mean? So I always keep these in my fridge. Um, this is my honey ham to go on the ham and cheese sliders. 
Um, picked up some carb counter tortillas. We always keep these in the house. Garrett likes to make turkey and cheese wraps. And y'all, these are only three carbs per tortilla. Um, and to me, you cannot tell the difference between these and regular flour tortillas. So I love that these only have three carbs. So also to go with those, I bought my pork carnitas. I will be adding some taco sauce to that meat and making me some tacos very soon. We've got salsa. Always keep salsa on hand. Um, got some Bisquick. That is for some blueberry cobbler. We have a blueberry bush in our backyard. And we've been picking blueberries and they have been so yummy. Um, so we've got to pick some more because... We picked a bunch, and we've just been eating them because they're so sweet and so good. So we've got to get back out there and pick some more so that I can make a cobbler. Of course, these are the King's Hawaiian Rolls for the ham and cheese sliders. Yummy. And, oh, I put the cheese. I got some sliced provolone cheese. I don't know why, but I already stuck it in the refrigerator. Um, a lot of people use Swiss cheese on the ham and cheese sliders, but I do not like Swiss cheese. I am not a fan, so I bought provolone cheese. I love provolone. Picked up some Dijon mustard. That goes in the sauce that you brush on the sliders. Got some mayo. This is the mayo that I use, Bama. I grew up on this stuff. We have to buy two mayonnaise in this family because my husband will not eat anything but Hellman's. Ugh. I think Hellman's is disgusting. So, this is the mayonnaise I use. I will use Duke's if if they're ever out of Bama. Because to me, that tastes the closest to Bama. But, um, I needed some anyway for sandwiches and different things. But, um, I also got an extra jar to make my potato salad with. Got some relish. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in my potato salad or not, but I picked up a jar just in case. I do like to put it in my egg salad and things like that, chicken salad. So I needed some anyway, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put it. Now that'll focus. Why didn't the deodorant focus? That's really clear. Hmm. But anyway, not sure if I'm going to put this in my potato salad or not. Um, growing up, our potato salad was very, very simple. My dad and mom always made it with just potatoes, boiled eggs, and mayonnaise, and a little bit of mustard, just a little. And that was it. And I just thought it was the best thing in the world. Um, now, my dad now, he puts relish in it. And he puts more mustard to make it more yellow. Um, and I love his potato salad now. I love it with the relish, and I love it without. Now, when my mom makes it, she still makes it without. So, I love them both. So, uh, we'll just see how I feel tonight when I'm when I'm actually making it. Um, picked up some barbecue sauce. Y'all, I have fallen in love with this barbecue sauce, and I don't eat barbecue sauce that much. I'm just not a big barbecue eater. I will eat it. But there's just other things that I'd rather eat. So, whenever I have barbecue sauce at home, this is what I get. And I've just discovered this not too long ago. The Kinder's brand. Have y'all heard of that brand? Is it just in the South or is it all over? Um, to me, it's just like all of a sudden, it was there. At, like I had never seen it before. And they have like a billion bottles of different sauces and dressings and dipping sauces just everything there's tons of this stuff everywhere and they also have seasonings they have a lot of seasonings hold on i'm getting like here's one of them it's but this is buttery garlic and herb i also have this is the roast chicken um which is supposed to be really really good and they also have, you know, burger seasonings and steak seasonings and just all the things. They have a ton of them. But I had never heard of Kinder's till lately. So, anyway. Um, got some blueberry pie filling for my blueberry cheese pie. 
Got some sweetened condensed milk that is also for my blueberry cheese pie. I did not get to make a pie on the 4th, so I'm thinking about making one this weekend. Um, all the blueberry cheese pie is you get a graham cracker crust, and then you mix cream cheese, Eagle Brand milk, lemon juice, and vanilla. You mix that. It's a third a cup of lemon juice, a teaspoon of vanilla, one can of Eagle Brand milk or sweetened condensed milk, and one block of cream cheese. And you mix all that together and pour it in the pie crust and let it sit overnight. And then you put whatever kind of pie topping on top of that. And it's so good. So good. I make it a lot during the summer. I may have, have I already, I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked, y'all. I don't know what I've shown y'all and what I haven't. Um, picked up some poppy seeds. This is for the salt, the butter sauce that goes on top of the sliders. Onion powder that also goes in the sauce. And you also use Worcestershire sauce um, in that as well. And I already have some of that in the fridge. Picked up some minced onions. I always keep it this in the house. Whenever I cook ground beef, I always put minced onion in it. So I always keep those on hand. And I'm getting kind of low, so I picked up a couple of those. And then, of course, my deodorant. I don't think I showed y'all all that. I remember showing y'all the deodorant, but then I went to the other side, right? <laughs> y'all, it's been a day. I, I cannot keep up with what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. So, this just may be a hot mess video. I mean, y'all, I'm just losing my mind today. I got to the end, and I, I was like, did I already show this stuff? And did I already talk about this? Y'all, my short-term memory is just going away going away so got my water refilled it when I got home still got a lot of my flavoring in it mm. my true lemon raspberry lemonade and grape this is what I mix together in my water every morning true lemon raspberry and propel grape. I don't know why, but it's so good. It tastes so good. Well guys, I'm sorry for that abrupt ending, but I wanted to properly end this video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on another video.